Okay, this is section 6.6, .6, combinations from several sets. And this is simply using the combination formula and the counting principle together to calculate uh, problems and such. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by doing about four or five different examples here. Okay, so there are seven cats and four dogs in the SPCA. In how many ways can you select two of each? So you're going to select two cats and two dogs. So that, that means you're going to have 7C2 for the, for the cats. And you're also going to use the counting principle, so you're going to multiply that by 4C2 for the, for the dogs. Now if you write this out, it's 7 factorial over 7 minus 2 factorial, 2 factorial times 4 factorial over 4 minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. And we can plug this into our calculators to work them out, but it's a good idea to write that out so you can get part marks if you push the wrong button on your calculator. So I'm going to do 7C2 is 21. And 4C2. Six, multiply those two together, and you get 126 ways. Okay, so how many ways, how many eight card hands can be dealt containing six red cards and two black cards from a from a, a, a 52 deck of cards? Okay, so regular deck of cards, 52. How many? reds and how many blacks? Well, half and half, right? 26 of each. So we're going to do, we're going to select six cards from a possible 26 that are red. So that's 26 C6 times the black cards. There's a possible of 26 black cards, but we're not selecting six. We're only selecting two. So that's 26 C2. So if we do those combinations, we can write them out to help us in case we make a mistake. There we are, and we can plug them in using our combination button. 26C6 is equal to 230230, or if you like, 230,230. Kind of interesting one there. And we can also plug in 26C2, which is 320. Five. Multiplied by our other number. And we get our total possible of 7, 4, 8, 2, 4, 7, 5, 0. If we want to state that, that's 74,824,750 is our answer. Okay, some more here. How many ways can you deal eight cards from a deck of 52 if three are spades, two are diamonds, and three are clubs? Well, how many spades? 13, how many diamonds? 13, how many clubs? 13. So we have 13 C3 for the spades, 13 C2 for the diamonds, and 13 C3 for the clubs. Notice there's no uh, hearts there, so you don't have to worry about it. So 13 C3. Two hundred eighty-six and thirteen C two seventy-eight. So we multiply those together to get six three eight zero zero eight eight, or if you like, six million three hundred eighty thousand eighty-eight ways. I think I've got one more here. Make sure that's in there. Okay, and this one's 
uh, using same sort of idea again. It says, using Nestor, how many three-letter arrangements can be made with two different consonants and one vowel? Two different consonants and one vowel. Okay, so we have to think of it in terms of what are we actually doing here? Okay, so let's, let's uh, analyze it. How many consonants are there? One, two, three, four. So we have four consonants to choose from. And we want to select two of them. Okay, so that's the, the, the possible two consonants that we can select. Okay, now we can do the same for the vowels. How many vowels are there? One, two, so that's just 2C1. Okay, so now we know that we have two consonants and one vowel. So, but there's still a number of ways that we can arrange those two consonants and one vowel, right? We can have, you know, a bunch of different, we can have three factorial ways of doing that because we have to do the counting principle. So we still have to multiply that by three factorial because that we had two consonants coming out of there and one vowel coming out of there, but they still can be arranged in three times two times one different ways. So now we can plug that all in. Four, C, two, and two C, one. That's fairly simple. Two factorial over one factorial is two. And three factorial, three times two times one, which is also six. So that's 72 ways. Okay, and that concludes our counting chapter with the exception of section 6.7, which kind of puts everything together uh, into one place. And I might do some tutorials of that, depending on if we have issues in that section or not. So that concludes that section.